My people, this is the fourth time we've done this. You think you know a lot about Stardew Valley. I bet you don't. I came up with 20 of the hardest questions, although they're not as hard as last time because you guys did complain a little bit, of Stardew Valley related trivia, and you, the people of the Twitch chat, are going to try to answer them in the form of a Kahoot. First place is walking away with a $50 Steam gift card, second is walking away with $25, and third, fourth, and fifth are all gonna get a $10 Steam gift card. Let's find out who is the smartest Stardew Valley player. Here we go. Guys, let's, uh, let's get into it. For this Kahoot number four, 243 of you guys are in here and boy am i excited to see who's going to come out on top the competition has never been more stiff let's waste no more time let's get into it boom boom kahoot at home stardy's hardest questions part four what is the radius of light of the small glow ring is it eight tiles three tiles five tiles or one tile this is the small glow ring so i don't think this information is in the game i think this info is only available on the wiki it is indeed five tiles of radius for the small glow ring. Very, very nice. All right, so our top five uh, coming out of the first round is Bella Thames, Dog De Doo, Ultra, Trapmaster 8, and PKW. All answering that correctly very quickly. Let's move on. Question number two, which remixed bundle isn't real? Is it the sticky bundle, the mysterious bundle, the engineer's bundle, or the children's bundle? So whenever you do remixed mines, it actually like replaces the ones that you have to complete in the community center. And so three of these are real and one is not. It is the mysterious bundle. Yeah, right? I figured a lot of people wouldn't know that. So like everyone knows that there are remixed bundles in the community center from 1.5, but no one knows what they're called. So like the mysterious bundle I made up, obviously the children's bundle is like get cookies and salmon berries and like an ancient doll. The engineer's bundle is like get a battery pack and like some other nerdy stuff. And my favorite is the sticky bundle, which is just 500 pieces of sack. But the mysterious bundle is the fake one of those. All right, in first place now. Oh, what is happening? Oh, I think I need to be a little smaller. I'm just going to be small for this. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay. In first place is Susie. In second place is Lewis's shorts. Third place is Toxin. Fourth is Carrie's. And fifth is Wolf Ruler. Very nice. Very nice. Question number three. How do you spell this thing? Is it Chantrell? 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 Or Chantrelle. I don't even know how to pronounce this thing anyway, so. It is Chantrelle with an E-R-E-L-L-E. -E -L -L -E. Chantrelle. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it, but I literally was like doing this as a test. I was running through the Kahoot again to make sure all the questions were right, and I still, I got it wrong in my run through. 139 of you guys getting that right, but 75 of you guys being tricked by the A instead of the E right there. 11 of you guys absolutely out in no man's land voting for Chantrelle, but you know, respect. Lewis's shorts moves up to first place. Susie is in second. Toxin in third. Non universal in fourth. And Ollie Poppy in fifth. Dude, our community has grown so much. I'm not recognizing any of these names. And I think that's kind of beautiful. Good job, Lewis's shorts. Will he hold on to the lead? If this true or false question, true or false, the line swing that pumpkin round and round appears in the game code. Is that true or is that false? Man, if you are spamming question marks, you should have been here for the third one. I just made that up, dude. I sure tap you guys with that. I literally just made that up today while I was sitting at work, dude. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Swing that pumpkin around and around. Why would that be in the game code? Absolutely cruel trying to keep people on their toes. Lewis's shorts recognized that I was trolling, as do Susie Toxin, Mamito, and Non Universal in our top five. I didn't want you guys to think, oh, if he's putting this here, it's probably a weird fact, you know? I didn't want you guys to think that it would be that easy. Question number five. If Gus says the phrase, no, no, no. What did you just do? Did you just give him a hated gift? Did you give him a neutral gift? Did you give him a disliked gift? Or did you pelt him with a slingshot? <laughs> I love this one. That is a disliked gift, not a hated gift. Can you believe that, right? Yeah, no, that's, that's just a disliked, no. No, no. Which I knew uh, from when we did the Zach versus chat Twitch plays that I posted on YouTube. I knew that when I was running around giving disliked gifts to everyone, I gave Gus a stone and that was his reaction to it. Lewis's shorts on fire. Susie also staying in second. Mamito moving up as does uh, Chief Wiggum and uh, Toxin. Loses a couple spots but stays in the top five. 
Let's see question number six right now. What do you get when you put a vegetable in a keg? I would say one of the easier questions right now. Do you get jelly, juice, wine, or pickles? So these are the four options between vegetable fruit and putting it in a keg or a preserves jar. So when you match it up vegetable to keg, what do you get? A bunch of you guys saying pickles. Oh, how many of you guys? Be honest. Raise your hand. Raise your hand right now. How many of you guys confidently picked pickles? And they were like, oh. Vegetable in the ke easy pickles all the time. See, you're trying to do it fast. You're trying to do it fast. You're like vegetable, and it's uh, it's being processed. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've processed vegetables before. It's juice when you do it in the keg, though. The juice is loose, but Lewis's shorts is unshaken. Susie is in second, and would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? The reign of the casuals is over because Blade and Habu have both cracked into the top five. Oh my god, the chat sounded like Gus right now being given a disliked gift. No, no, no. And uh, of course, non-universal also. Good job being in here. Question number seven. Dick is whose name in the original game code? Was that originally Willie's name? Was it Lewis's name? Was it George's name? Or was it the name of the wizard? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I knew this one. That was Willie's original name. So we had in the first Kahoot, Josh was the original name of Alex. And there's also, I think Dana was Penny's original name as well. But yeah, that one was Willie right there. Lewis's shorts falls down and Blade gets into first place, of course. On the code-based question, Blade finds his way into first. Susie, Grace, and Kessia also in our top five, dude. Wow, four players just dropped their answer streak of three. How sad. If you knew that, props, but you are going to have to know more than that. Question number eight, who lives at the address? One River Road. Is it Vincent? Is it Haley? Is it Robin or is it Evelyn? People say an easy clap right here. I don't know. This could be another trick. <laughs> <laughs> the nose coming in. They recognize their error because it was Evelyn, not Vincent. Vincent lives at one Willow Road. One River Road is Alex and George and Evelyn. Oh! Got them all with it. Yes. Yeah, that was Evelyn. We got Susie back to first. Blade in second. Lewis's shorts still in a commanding top three position. And uh, Subway and Nick Buck both making their way into the top five. All right, we're keeping it moving. Question number nine. Which tackle makes the fishing bar cling to the fish? Is that the barbed hook? Is it the dressed spinner? Is it the quality bobber? Or is it the trap bobber? Again, I would consider this potentially one of the easier questions for a casual viewer. That is the barbed hook. Very nice. A lot of you guys thought trap bobber, but trap bobber is the one that makes the progress bar go down slower. But the barbed hook will actually like hone in on the fish and keep your bar where that is. Over half of you guys knowing that, but a lot of people getting tricked by the trap bobber. Ooh, Susie and Blade both fall down and Lewis's shorts finds his way back into first. Love that. Wolfie and the Subway also in the top five. Look at this. This is the closest we've been. We're halfway through our competition at this point, just about. And all of our top five is within 200 points of each other. Question number 10 right now, when is Marty's birthday? Easy one, particularly if you run the pants category, like me. If you've watched the beef of me and Shawnee do, you would know this. Is it fall 1st? Is it fall 18? Is it fall 8th? Or is it fall 12th? What do you guys think? This is a little bit of a reward for people that watch my videos, I think. They will know this. It is the 18th day of fall. Very nice to those that got it. I thought fall 1, more people would fall for because that's like in that run still. Like you sleep until the first day of fall. Fall 8? Oh god, I didn't even mean... Oh, dude, I didn't even realize. I think I just like typed another random number. Jeez, that probably hurt a couple of people. Fall 18, though. <gasps> Our entire top five has just changed up. Actually, I guess it was just uh, Mayor's shorts falling out. Blade in first place. Wolfie, Susie, Grace, and Kessia still in the top five, though. You guys are uh, putting up a solid performance right now. Can they keep it rolling with question number 11? Which type of seed does this tree produce? Is it the maple seed, the mahogany seed, the acorn, or the pine cone? And this, I'm really hoping, is going to be evidence that when I don't know which tree I need to cut down when I need the last seed to make my field snack, I hope this is evidence that this is not common knowledge. It's the acorn. Dang it, that's still more people knew that than I would have liked to admit, but the acorn does come from that tree. The maple tree looks so similar, so similar, but the maple tree has like a little curve in the trunk. Yeah, if you knew that, good looks. Blade, of course, knows it as do Wolfie, Grace, Kessia, and Shui. Shui in the top five for the first time. We're moving on. Question number 12, which fish is always profitable to turn into sashimi? Regardless of your profession, regardless of the quality of fish, is it the periwinkle? Is it the anchovy? Is it the shrimp or is it the sunfish? 
You would know this if you've been on the fish wiki page. It is the periwinkle. How weird is that? That's a little fun knowledge. Let me let me prove it to you guys. Stardew fish. So I knew this from making videos also. The periwinkle, regardless of your profession, regardless of the quality, always, always, always profitable. And so it's not likely that you would have known that, but it is possible to have known that. Grace steals first place. It's a 17 point game between first and second. Habu also finds himself back in the top five, shwee, in fourth, and Wolfie in fifth. Question number 13. Which of the following affects whether animals will produce anything? It's gonna be an easy clap for the competitive players. Is this friendship, mood, is it random, or is it all of the above? Uh-oh, misclicks, shoots, easies, it's all of the above. Only one person thought it was strictly random, though. That's really interesting. The, the few, the proud. Good job, yellow guy. Yeah, it, it's everything. So it, you know, Blade said no, it is not. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Blade. Don't you even tell me no. I looked this up so much. Hold on. We got it. We got to hear the, uh, the expert blade. What are you saying right now? It is mood. Dude, I don't think it's mood. I don't know. I don't, let me look. Let me look. I'm pulling it up. This may be my bad. I've only messed up two of these Kahoot questions ever before. Actually one before this. So let's see. <laughs> I don't even know where I read this at this point now. I thought it was a product of all of them. Is it the quality that's a product of all of them? Dude, I don't know how to undo it. Oops. All right. Well, there's a riot for you guys. We're giving a chance to the people who are bad. Habu, you said riot in the chat. You got that wrong and got it right, dude. Are you kidding me? You know what? We're going to consider that as a little handicap for the people that might not know a lot about this game. Okay, we're going to move on because I'm the streamer. Next question. 14. When do you unlock the lightning rod? Is it at foraging level eight? Is it at farming level eight, foraging level six or farming level six? This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. I think I would have said farming level eight, but it is foraging level six. How weird is that? Do you think of that as a foraging recipe? No, that's like a farming thing, right? Foraging level six. How weird is that? About only like a quarter of you guys getting it right for that one though. Grace Habu Shui, I feel bad for Blade, is now out of the top five. Blade, you'll make it back. Don't worry, I believe you. Oh yeah, look who has returned to our top five. It's Lewis's shorts, welcome back. Question number 15, how much total experience is required to reach level 10? in a skill. Is it 10,000 experience? Is it 15,000? Is it 5,000? Or is it 1,000 experience? Some deco says easy. Here's your little hint. To get to level one, it's 100 experience. But it goes up every level from there. And the grand total is 15,000 experience. So uh, yeah, 15,000. A lot of you guys getting that one right. Grace, Habu, Kessia, Shui, Lewis's shorts. Our top five remains the same as we go into some of our last questions right now. Question number 16. What was this? This guy's original name. Was it the Shadow Lizard? Was it the Dinosaur? Was it the Pepper Rex? Or was it Dynamax? What was this guy's original name? Habu with a bunch of question marks right now. Yeah, no, it was Pepper Rex. Yeah, no, it, it was just Pepper Rex right from the beginning. <laughs> Trolled again, dude. It was always Pepper Rex ever since it was introduced in 1.4. The betrayal, the betrayal, the trick questions are coming out. I got like three quarters of you guys. I straight up made up all of those. Dynamax, dude, what? Did it get our top five? Oh, I think it might have. It might have. Uh, our top five not looking too different, but uh, Diamond Dex gets into the top five now with only a few questions left. I love to see the tears in the the chat we're moving on to question number 17 which of the following is a fake unobtainable weapon is it Haley's iron is it emily's sewing needle is it sam's old guitar or is it alex's bat three of these objects are in the game code but you can't obtain them one of them is not it is emily's sewing needle so this is actually on the wiki so you don't have to like dig into the game code to know this it's, it's actually got a section called unobtainable items and if you didn't know if you really didn't have any idea here's how you could have figured this out there were five marriage candidates for each gender when the game came out and then two were added later people in the chat tell me who were the two candidates that got added as marriage candidates later on in stardew yeah you guys are right not joe emily and shane Emily and Shane were added later. And I realized that today as I was going through this page that every one of like the original five bachelors and bachelorettes have their own weapons, uh, but Emily and Shane don't. So you could have recognized that Emily was one of those people. Our top five does not change, but Habu sneaks into third place, bumping Shui down by one. We are down to our final three questions. Which update added the ability to put torches on fence posts? Was that ability added in 1.4, 1.5, 1.0, or 1.2? Who knows? 
their Stardew Valley version history right now. Caboose says, wait, it wasn't 1.3? It was 1.0. It has always been in the game. And dude, I had to do some digging and I'm, I'm convinced on this one, but I found a forum post from April of 2016, which was before 1.1 came out that said, uh, did you guys know you could put torches on fence posts? And it was, uh, it was on there. There was a screenshot of it. So that was like a little time capsule. I had to find an old forum post from 2016 to confirm that it has been in the game since it came out. Only 11 people got that right. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm waiting for the top five to update and it goes nowhere. That could be huge for someone just outside of the top five, closing the gap a little bit. It's not over. We're moving on to our second to last question right now. Question number 19, who sells you the pink bow? Is it the island trader? Is it the hat mouse? Is it the desert trader or is it the volcano dwarf? I think this one was weird too. This was a weird question. It's the volcano dwarf, not the hat mouse. You guys thought that I was trying to trick you and it was easy. Easy. No, it's the hat mouse and there's a 25% chance that it shows up in his stock. I've never seen it there before. I was going through random pages on the wiki trying to come up with questions for this and I found the pink bow and I'm like, I've never even seen this before. Volcano Dwarf, what? Only 34 people getting it right. This could be catastrophic for our top five. And just like that, Blade, the return of Blade into the top five, baby. Come on, Blade, finish in the top five for me. I wronged you, but you can do it. Habu and Blade in fourth and fifth. Kessia in third, Shui in second, and Grace in first place going into the finals. Look at this. Look at these scores right now. 12,825, 12,822. This is a three-point game between first and second place right now. It's all going to come down to this question. What is the daily chance of getting a prismatic shard out of a rainbow trout pond? Is it 1 in 1,000? Is it 1 in 100? Is it 1 in 10,000? Or is it 1 in 100,000? I knew this one from my fish pond video. How rare is it? Everyone knows it's rare. Everyone knows it's not worth it. It's one in a thousand. It's actually one in 1,111, but like about one in a thousand. There's a 0.9% chance that it shows up. 60 people got it right. A lot of people thought it was more rare than it actually was. With only 60 people getting it right, it could literally be anyone right here in our top five. Let's see who succeeded in Stardew's Hardest Questions Part 4 in third place with only 14 questions right. Kessia in third and in second place with 17 right was Shui and that means in first place with only 14 right but answered so quickly it's Grace unbelievable Grace how about that that was amazing what a, what a finish and look at who our fourth and fifth place finishers were fourth and fifth place were Blade and Habu very very nice Blade I'd like to deeply apologize to you for the one that I was wrong on but wow GG everybody a special congratulations to Grace Shui and Kessia as they absolutely killed it Shui was consistent but not fast and wow actually you know now that I realized that <laughs> I just realized I think all of them got the last question wrong I think literally every one of them got the last question wrong there at the end so it literally it could have been anyone there good job everybody thank you very much for playing stardew valley kahoot number four i hope that that was fun dude a three point game a three point difference right there congrats to everyone i hope those questions weren't as hard as the third round although it seemed like you guys were more riled up and mad at me this time than you were the last time we played it which just means that i was doing my job right